Behold, a galaxy. It's actually located in the local group of galaxies like Andromeda and all that. But what we're going to do is we're going to go this way and find another galaxy maybe similar to the Milky Way. Another spiral galaxy would be pretty cool to find. So we're going to go this way. There's just so many galaxies. Look at this, there's a bit of a void here actually. So we're going to find one galaxy here. There's a yellow one here. And we're gonna see if we can find like maybe a black hole or a planet like Earth. Oh, there we go. All right, and it's a spiral as well. So that's pretty cool to find right away. So this is just a random galaxy, I think. I don't think it's a real one, unless I'm wrong. Someone let me know in the comments. Okay, so maybe like near the center. Okay, we got 12 planets. But yeah, there's 12 planets and it's a white giant. So I don't think it has any Earth-like planets, but we got some with rings here. What the heck is this? <laughs> okay, I think this might be... Yeah, we got to turn the exposure down a little bit to actually see. It's got some cool colors. Wonder if we can actually go on it and see what kind of features this planet has. Whoa, okay, we're actually in a valley. There's a bit of a ridge there. Okay, this valley is actually aligned with its bands up here. No, that's a cloud. Okay, it looks like rings. <laughs> but yeah, this valley would be on fire okay so that was pretty cool we found one with a bit of a canyon like the one on mars but the one on mars is probably so much bigger than that one holy crap because it's the same size as the united states okay this is the black eye galaxy and it's black for whatever reason but it looks so cool so we're gonna see what this galaxy here has it's actually a real one i definitely know this is a real galaxy so we're gonna go into our settings here and maybe turn up the nebulae and see if we can find some decent nebula here whoa for a dark galaxy it might actually have some good options here like this is a red one this is a diffuse nebula oh even the nebula itself is very very dark like you see this just vo this is just like a void holy crap okay there's a bit of stars in it in the void <laughs> that is kind of creepy Oh, okay. It gave way to color. Whoa. Okay. That I've never seen before. That is so cool. That's still a real cool planet. It's an ocean planet that's like on fire. It's got this real orange glow to it. I mean, it's not on fire. It's minus 10. So that's pretty decent. There's a nebula right over there. I want to try to find a blue nebula. I think that would be pretty cool. Blue's one of my favorite colors. Oh, it's another dark nebula. That's so cool that it has so many dark ones. Ooh, okay. This one is a little frigid, but it might have surface that we could land on. It's got some, like, purple to it. Let's turn this down a little bit so we can actually see. Yeah, look at that. Okay, we're gonna try to land right where the sun is setting. Oh, another valley. That's dope. Oh, oh, okay. I don't know how fast it's gonna move, so we're gonna go a little bit like that. Oh, there it goes. Perfect. Okay, let's get rid of that. And there goes the sun wonder how far... Oh, there it goes. Okay, there it goes entirely. Okay, we're going to zoom out again. And there are the nebulae. We could probably turn it up a little bit more. Yeah, there we go. Maybe go near the center this time. There's like a turquoise one right there. Okay, planetary nebula. Let's go. Ooh, it is actually kind of blue. Oh yeah, look at the color. There's a little bit of red on the edge there. There's a star right here. It's bound to have one that we can walk on. It doesn't have to have life necessarily. Just gotta walk on it. But this one is an ocean planet. Ooh, that is promising. Oh yeah. Okay, and it has rings. That is so cool. I don't know if it has any islands or something like that. So we're gonna turn it down so we can see it. And it's temperate too. So the temperature is only like 18 degrees, it says there. Okay, that's pretty cool. Let's see if we can fly onto it. Oh yeah, look at all this water here. Whoa, oh my God, the angle. <laughs> There are the rings. That's so cool. Just right there above us. Gonna fly along a little bit here. Maybe glide into the atmosphere. Oh yeah, that's so cool. Just to see the transition from the planet into the atmosphere and then into space. Just this blue haze. Okay, we're gonna find one more. This is, I wanna find another planetary nebula cause that is actually pretty cool. Planetary, there we go. Yeah, for a dark galaxy, this has got some pretty good options for, like, colorful nebulae. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. It's just going, like, in every direction. It kind of looks like devil horns there. Nice. Okay. Wonder if it has any stars, like, maybe... Oh! 
looks like an hourglass from this angle. That's so cool. Okay, there's a star right here. That's That doesn't seem too far from it. Oh, yes. Okay, this is a good view. We're going to go on the night side so we could probably see it better. It's at a really tough angle. But there is that nebula. All right, this is the Sunflower Galaxy, and it is also a very real galaxy. So let's see, maybe like on the outer edge here. There's a blue one right there, Diffuse Nebula. Okay. You know, I've also had some luck finding Earth-like planets near the central black holes of galaxies, too. Gotta try that one of these days. Ooh! Okay, it's got a cluster of stars right inside it. Ooh, I cannot see when I do that. Okay. What about this one? Okay, there we go. We can see it a little bit better. Oh, it's got four planets. Okay, cool. We can work with that. There's one right there. Ooh, nice. Okay, we can probably walk on this one. All right, we're gonna go right in here. There's a volcano right there, actually. I kind of want to walk on that. I like these valleys. It's so cool to see the detail of it. Where is this volcano at? Okay, there it is. Perfect. Okay, that is pretty cool. And if we look up, we should be able to see it relatively easily. Maybe it's on the other side of the planet. So let's go over that way. Okay, yeah. We actually have to go out of the atmosphere to see the nebula that we're in. So if we turn it off, we should be able to see it better. And maybe the clouds too. Yeah. Okay. So this is with everything off. And then we got the rings there, the clusters of stars. Oh, there's another nebula right there, too. Sick. Okay, we'll turn that back on for now. Whoa, we're flying out of the nebula. I have yet to find an Earth-like planet, and that will be one of the things we do today. Maybe we'll have some luck with this one. This looks pretty cool. Okay, we got 10 planets, but we're going to try to find an Earth-like one, so we're going to go to Composition, that's 10 light years. Oh, it's got one! Okay, and it's within a close range too. Alright, one with life, and this is the one with life. Ooh, very blue. Does this have a neutron star? What's this? Oh, it's a white dwarf. Okay. I was like, is it a neutron star? It kind of looked like one. Okay. So we're going to go on this planet because it is the one with life. And it's nearby a nebula. It's not specifically Earth-like, but it has life. Multicellular terrestrial. Okay, so it's just on the surface. It is so blue here. That is so cool. Where's the star at? Okay, we're going to find where the sun is going to set on this planet. And we're going to try to get a sunset as well. There's just so many details here. Okay, so where is the sun? The sun is right there. Okay, so we're going to go over this way. All right. And it is right along here where the sun is probably going to set. It's already pretty dark here at this time. Oh, perfect. Okay. And it's going to go. There's a moon. There's a couple, like, other objects in the sky here. So that would be pretty cool to see. Whoa. Okay. Is this tidally locked? It might actually be tidally locked. Oh, there it goes. I think this is tidally locked. Oh, never mind. It's going. Okay. That would be pretty cool. And there it goes. Okay, that's so cool. Okay, maybe we'll get the sunrise as well. It'll come up over here on this side, most likely. It's at such a unique angle that I haven't really seen before. There's a cluster of galaxies. Oh, there it is. Okay. All right, we'll go nice and slow with the sunrise. Just to get the best view with it. I really like the blue with this planet. It's so cool. Okay, there it goes. Can go a little bit brighter it doesn't go that much above the horizon like what ours does ours goes like all the way up but this is just going like in a little bit of a loop that is so cool it's actually not too cold here either oh and you can see the temperature change as the sun rises and stuff it's like very slightly changing so it's only eight degrees here that is so sick the sunset is gonna come again 
And there it goes. Few other objects around it. There's a moon, most likely, or another planet. And there it goes. It's just pitch black again. Oh my god. It's kind of creepy. All right, that is it for this video. Feel free to give it a thumbs up if you like this sort of content. Feel free to leave any comments for where we should go next. Don't hesitate to subscribe as well. We have lots of fun here. And I will see you guys in the next one.